Hi everyone, so now it is potty time. We have a sign here, as you can see, it's potty time. And who's the potty for? The potty is for our hero and number one dog, Cody. everyone welcome back to my next video well Cody and I are sitting in the cab of the ambulance and it's a special special day for my buddy Cody today is his 10th birthday party that's right he's 10 years old so I'm gonna have some friends over we're gonna have a party we'll have lots of treats Cody will be very very happy about the treats and uh, I think I think we're gonna have a good time I hope you enjoy it a little peek into the life of Cody and I and my friends and uh, it's it's just, you know, a little bit silly thing we do every so often. So he's 10 years old. Uh, in human years, at 70. I'm 67. We're kind of a couple old fuddy-duddies, and I guess we can celebrate a birthday every so often. Right, Code? Yeah. He doesn't really like this whole thing where we sit in the cabin and, uh, and I talk into the camera. It's the, it's the talking that seems to upset him. Okay, let's go look at the party. Hi, everyone. So now it is potty time we have a sign here as you can see it's potty time and who's the potty for the potty is for our hero and number one dog cody it just happens to be cody's birthday it's it's august 26 2022 and it just happens to be uh international uh dog day so we're celebrating his birthday to do i'll tell you his whole story and with me is phyllis and sue ann and linda Hi. And these are all of Cody's favorite people in the whole world. I mean, and I do mean that quite literally. He, I can't, you can't keep him out of your rig. No, he comes every morning. Every at nine morning, he hangs out. Doesn't just want the treat. He wants the treat. No, you don't get out without a treat. Yeah, he doesn't get out without a treat. But he's over there. He's very, he's well behaved right now because, of course, I've got a, I've got his birthday treats here, and Sue Ann is his godmother. I am. She will, if I if I pass away, and or or I'm incapacitated, she gets Cody to take care of him. And Linda has become his best buddy. She's working hard to convince him that she's his best friend. <laughs> you know better, don't you? He knows better. Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, why don't we all take a treat and we can take turns uh, giving him. Oh, he says it's serious uh, now. Treat. <laughs> Linda, and then uh, there we go. Everyone can just give him a treat. All right, oh, yeah. buddy. Here, here you go, Cody. There you go, buddy. Look at you go. Happy birthday, Cody. Well, oh, happy birthday, and it says, Cody. It says potty time as well. <laughs> Linda's got one. Birthday cake. Good. Oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh, happy time. birthday. He doesn't look a day over nine. <laughs> yes, let me tell you about Cody's age. I got Cody in August. Oh, Cody, you don't like that hat too much, do you? He's got a it's he's got a nice little uh, bandana on him though that says it's my potty. <laughs> so I got Cody in uh, August of 2014 in Jackson, Wyoming. Uh, it's an interesting story, I think. I got him at a rescue, and I'm keeping him here with the with food because otherwise he you know he's be out everywhere. And uh, he was two years old. So this is, I've had him eight years. He was two years old. He's 10. And boy, he's in great shape, isn't he? For a 10-year-old dog, he's just really in good shape. And uh, we have had a wonderful life together. I think we've had a wonderful life together. And uh, so we're celebrating his 10th, uh, 10th birthday. I so, think he would agree, Bob. I think he would agree that he's had a good life with you. Yes. Well, you know, he's off leash most of the time. <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, and he gets to hunt every day. Hunts every day. So I'll tell you a brief story about uh, about uh, Cody. Uh, I had just lost, uh, in May, I had lost my uh, first dog, Homer. This was in 14, 2014, so most of you won't. Some of you will know Homer, but not many. Um, and I loved Homer so much and by August I was ready to get another dog and we were in Jackson, Wyoming and there was a uh, dog rescue event at in town 
And so uh, we stopped. And here's the problem if you're a nomad, and this is something to think about. A lot of the rescues won't give you a dog unless they can inspect your home. They want to come into your home. They want to see the, where the dog will live and how you'll treat him. Uh, there are a lot of unscrupulous people that take dogs to hurt them and or to, or to sell them or, or whatever. And so they want to be good rescues careful. And a lot of them would not give them to me. They said, no, you can't have a dog because we can't follow up on you in six months and see how he's doing. We can't see your home. We can't follow up. You're going to drive away. So the very first thing I did whenever I walked into a rescue was said, I'm a full-time RVer. I'm going to drive away. Uh, will you let me have a dog? And most said no. They just weren't interested. And so uh, this one said yes. And so, and I'd been, I'd done this a number of times and I had never found the perfect dog. I'd found some dogs. I thought, oh, this dog would probably work for me. Um, but never the perfect dog. And of course, the perfect dog chooses you, right? Right? I think the, the perfect dog is actually going to choose you. And so that's really kind of what happened. So we were walking around. They decided, yes, I could have a dog. And so we were walking around and I was looking at dogs. And they showed me one. And we learned all, I, I visited with him for a little bit. It was a, about Cody's size and pure white. That's an advantage in the desert. A black dog in the desert doesn't make any sense. <laughs> he gets hot in the desert. Uh, it's worked out okay, but a white dog's better. And so uh, the, I, I would have taken this dog. This was the very first dog I would have taken and thought, uh, this is a really good dog. Um, but the lady that was taking me around said, but you know, we have one more, and I think you might like him even more. And that was Cody. His name wasn't Cody then. His name was Rowdy. Uh, you know, rowdy. I wasn't too excited about Rowdy, but uh, they showed me Cody, who's what, who's now Cody, and uh, and so I kind of I got down on one knee and was petting him and talking to the lady, and she was telling me his history. They knew nothing about him. He he was skinny as a rail when I got him eight years ago. I mean, he was skinny as a rail. I was I was concerned for his health. First thing I did was took him to the vet. They'd had him in the vet. He was healthy, but I was so concerned about his, how skinny he was. So I'm sitting there talking to the lady, petting Cody, and Cody puts his head on my chest. Ooh. He just puts his head on my chest. Mm. And, and my heart, of course, just melts away. I can't resist, you know, a dog that puts his head down on my chest. And so uh, I knew instantly that he was the one and I took him. Turns out it wasn't all a bed of roses. Uh, when I got Cody around some of my friends with dogs, he instantly fought. Mm -hmm. He instantly fought with any dog that was bigger than him. So apparently he had grown up in a home where the dogs were bigger and abusive. And so he had taught, he had learned to uh, immediately go after the biggest dog and overpower him or die trying. And that's every single instance of we met and a, a bigger dog for the first year, it was a fight. It was an instant fight. And so I've worked tremendously hard on making sure that that behavior is gone. And it's all about being dominant. You know, I'm the only one that gets to fight and uh, he doesn't get to get in a fight. I only get in fights. And so it was a real battle of dominance for a long time. I wasn't sure I could keep him. There was a long time, because I can't have a dog that's aggressive. I just can't, I, I wouldn't. And so the idea that I would go out to meet someone and they had a big dog. He's perfect with little dogs. He loves little dogs. But man, with big dogs, he it's a boom, a fight. It took a long time, but we finally got him out of that. And that's it's not gone. I know him. And when a big dog comes around, I can kind of feel it in him and see it in him. He wants to fight, but he doesn't. I've trained it out of him. And since then, he's been the perfect dog, and a lot of you know him. He's the perfect dog. You see him in the background. He's a, he's a ham when the camera's going on, so he's been a wonderful dog. Okay, well, enough talk. Let's, uh, let's have some uh, birthday party. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Well, you, you guys didn't come here to sit here and listen to me talk. Okay, well, we have uh, treats for everyone. We have banana nuts and, uh, blueberry. and blueberry. I'm going to take the banana nut and pass it around. And uh, which one do you want? Here's blueberry. That's right. I'm all set. There we go. Okay. There we are. Well, we got to sing happy birthday. Got to sing happy birthday. So, 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cody. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> good boy. Good, good boy. He's happy. He is. He said, "Look at all this food. Yeah, food. all kinds of attention. Ten years old. That's like a milestone. He's yeah, like he seventy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In dog years, he's seventy. He's." Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the party. I mean, it wasn't all that exciting and wonderful, but uh, it was still good. You know, I think I think it was still a good time had by all. I hope you enjoyed it. Got to know Cody and I a little bit better, and uh, it was it was a worthwhile experience for you. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.